All right, good day. This is Mr. Weideman. This is Lafayette High School Pre-Calculus. Uh, we're just starting conic sections. Uh, I want to finish up with some example problems that we did in class today. Um, this is one that we did, uh, just to back you up a little bit. Uh, what did we do on this problem? Okay, we're given a general form, uh, and then I showed you how to complete the square and all that business. The whole thing about circles, if you have a center point and a radius, uh, you're, you're good to go, backwards and forward. Graph to equations, equations to graph. That's the hinge pin, uh, center point and radius. Now, this problem continued on to say, okay, I want X and Y intercepts. Uh, I always invite you to draw a quick little sketch, um, whether you're going to do it algebraically or not. And this is why. You know, I can see here that I've got an x-intercept at 3 comma 0. So when I go digging into this algebraically, I already kind of know what my answer is. All right, so if we went x-intercepts equal to 0, uh, we let y equal 0, plug it into our original equation. How do we get y-intercepts? Just the opposite. Uh, we let x equal 0, plug it in, and we try to find our y-intercepts. And we see here that we end up trying to take the square root of a negative number, so there's no real solutions, and we can see that from our graph. Um, now, on a test or a quiz, um, you're not going to have the luxury to say, oh, well, here's my graph by inspection. You're going to have to prove it uh, algebraically. So I'm demonstrating this so you can kind of both see uh, together. Now, as you proceed in your homework assignments, um, you have the bell, the dreaded word problems. Okay, um, and this is stated a number of different ways. Um, sometimes it may say tangent to the x-axis, uh, which means that the circle touches, you got an x-coordinate of zero, touches the... Uh, I'm sorry, x-axis, y-coordinate 0. Tangent to the y-axis, got an x-coordinate of 0. All right, again, if you do a little bit, uh, a sketch of something of what they're telling you, it really helps. So let's do a little sketch of this guy. All right, I'm given these two points. I know they're a diameter, all right? So I've got an idea of kind of what the orientation of this thing and what's going on. Now, what's going to be the center of these two points? Well, <clears throat> the center is going to be the midpoint of the diameter. So I'm going to use the midpoint formula on this, and then I'm going to calculate that. Now, you remember back from your algebra, geometry days, um, there's the midpoint formula. Look back in the beginning of your notes, and you've got that. 2 comma 2, and if I plot that, all right, looks reasonable. Now, how am I going to get the radius? Now that I've got that center point, I could use the distance formula. The distance formula is not magic. If you look at these two little points over here, I've got my x distance between them. I've got my y distance between them. I've got a little right triangle there. The distance formula is nothing but... Uh, Pythagorean. Now, another thing you could do is you could find, use the distance formula with these two points and divide by two and come up with the exact same answer. That will also work. Okay, uh, so now what's my next move? Uh, now that I've got the center point and I've got the radius, I'm ready to write my equation in standard form. Be very careful. Negative 5 squared. All right, so negative, I'm uh, not negative 5. F square root of 5 squared is simply 5. All right, so uh, don't, don't let this guy throw you off the horse. When you put him into the equation right there, then it all comes out uh, nice and pretty. All right. Now, another thing that we have to do is convert to uh, standard form to general form. 
And I uh, didn't really cover that. I, I went general form to standard form. Now, how do I do it the opposite way? And the whole idea is we group like terms and we FOIL. All right, so this is my standard form. And if I want to write this in general form, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to FOIL everything out. I'm going to do all my distributions, and I'm going to get this. And now all I'm going to do is combine like terms, something I call goat herding. Uh, we're just going to be shuffling guys around uh, to make it look like general form. Now, these guys got to do a little bit of algebra, the plus 4, plus 4, that's 8, move the 5 over, uh, and so I get the plus 3. And so after I shuffle all my things around and get them in the right position, there is my equation in standard form. Okay, so I think you have everything you need to know to be successful on this homework assignment. Thank you for your time.